Today I have with me Crystal Fielstra, who is the 11th grade assistant principal at Chaparral High School, joining me via Zoom. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, speaking for Chaparral, we've been humbled by the overwhelmingly positive responses from our community. I hear from our district-wide admin team that this is the case across Temecula Valley. We have 32 schools and we see them as a safe place, a community and an identity for our students, a second home for many of them, for 25,000 students and almost 3,000 employees. So this has been a big change impacting a lot of people in our valley. Students are able to receive the grades that they had on March 13th, but we don't want them to fall behind and the learning continues on virtually. Our teachers have set up Google Classrooms and are currently providing learning to keep our students advancing in their education. Our teachers are providing that sense of normalcy for our students, even if it's in a new format. And from a parent perspective, I've, I've just been absolutely impressed with the quality of instruction all three of my children are receiving at all those different levels online. And I can relate to the turmoil and the upheaval of routines that families are navigating. Personally, I don't know what the future of education may hold, but I know that our families can rest assured that our TVUSD teachers are ready to rise to any challenge and will fight fiercely to provide all our students with the best education possible. What impact do you feel COVID-19 has had on graduating seniors and possibly incoming seniors as juniors right now? It's more so our juniors that are stressed out too, that they were supposed to take the SAT test. That requirement for admissions, they're suspending it, so it's not gonna hinder uh, the requirements as far as application requirements. Um, some of the families that are affected by COVID-19, may it be a parent lost a job or a business owner lost income, then there are uh, measures in place to, to reconsider their income and to help them actually increase their financial aid offer and receive more funding than less. So what advice would you give to a student who has been affected by this, who's a senior, who's a junior? The top advice I would give for seniors right now is that you're okay. All your hard work, your SAT, ACTs are done. The only thing that, that they have to stress out about right now is with COVID-19 is, do they want to submit the student intent to register May 1st, or do they want to take advantage of the extension they're given and not accept it until June or July? Those families out there that, that have questions, I'm offering a free um, online, it's through Zoom or FaceTime, whichever method, uh, online method they have, to do a one-on-one -on -one with me to just answer those crucial questions that, that is stressing them out and they don't know how to solve it. Because honestly, there's a lot of information on the internet and it's not all correct. Yes, times are uncertain, but many educators are going above and beyond to reach out to students to provide guidance, resources, and support. There is no denying the hard work our teachers do every day. And with distance learning being the new norm, everyone has some learning to do.